Good morning. It is Saturday, January 2nd. The sun has risen. I did actually try to set my alarm for 6 a.m. That didn't work out. I hit the snooze for another hour. It's now 8 o'clock. It's our last full day. I just should have got up earlier, but didn't feel like it. So we're going to walk the beach and see if we can find any goodies. It's kind of, it's in between low tide and high tide right now. So I don't know. Don't know what it's going to be like. You can see already the tide line has completely changed from when we walked last night. Pretty crazy. I am wearing my water shoes, so I can get my feet wet, no problem. All right, we spent two hours on the beach this morning shelling. We did awesome. Got my green bucket full of shells. Dropped them off in the room real quick. I'll clean them later. I still have to clean last night's shells. But we want to go get a late breakfast, early lunch before the Island Cow gets packed. It is 10 o'clock now. It's a Saturday. It's probably going to get pretty busy. And they're open, so I'm assuming we'll have to get some kind of breakfast food, but I don't care. Um, and then we are going to go to Ding Darling. Robert's going to fish a little. Um, and then we will go back to the room and probably shell a little more because the surf is pretty calm enough that we can actually like wade in the water and find some good shells so we'll try that again this afternoon so it's a really nice day so far um I am a little bummed though I, my sister texted me we got snow in St. Louis and it actually stuck to the ground so unfortunately I missed the first snow of the year I don't know still don't know that I would have given that up for Sanibel but I would have liked to have seen the first snow of the year so oh well and yeah gonna this is what drive, what road is this this is golf golf shore drive west golf drive west golf drive and then it, t t crosses periwinkle and periwinkle is the main road on saint Oval that has all the um restaurants where west golf drive has all the hotels so anyway wow lots of bikes already out this morning we are here at the island cow it's breakfast for another hour, but it's okay because they have some seafood. I am going to try the loaded seafood omelet. They also have a crab cake omelet, but I think the seafood one sounds really, really good. So I'm gonna go with that. I'll be back as soon as possible. Sure. Sure. Yes. Lots of seafood stuff within their regular breakfast. Yeah, that sounds really good. So it's quite, oh my God, okay. So they have these blow up dolphins that are like Santa's reindeer. And then they have like a boat. You can't see it because of the plant, but then there's a Santa in it. Do you get it? Like the dolphins are pulling Santa. It's cute. I got the seafood omelet. It has shrimp and scallops in it. Robert just got the omelet frittata, which is basically just vegetables and omelet. But I went daring and got seafood. I will honestly say I've never had seafood for breakfast before, so this will be the first. We are back in our room after taking a drive around Ding Darling Park. And I don't know if you can see it because of the screening, but the turtle, tortoise, tortoise is back in his little burrow. So these are the shells I got last night. These are the shells I got this morning. I am gonna go to the shell cleaning station and wash them real quick. Such a nice turtle. I see his head sticking out. And another beautiful day here on Sanibel. I are back at the shell cleaning station and I am completely soaked. I got soaked by trying to clean them. Water sprays everywhere. So this is a combination of last night and today and see so many shells. I'll do a better video later, but this is my best find of the entire trip. No one home, as big as my hand, definitely the best find. 
This tulip is nice too, though. Oh, that's not a tulip. This is the tulip. And the murex. And the sea urchin. Lots of goodies today. All right, after a quick siesta in our room, it's three o'clock. We are gonna go walk the beach. First, show you this. Check out the turtle. He's just hanging out today. I can't tell. Is that his head or his? Oh, oh, I scared him. Gosh darn it. I'm sorry. He was quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen him move so quick. See, he, there is, I told you there is a hole that he can hide out. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. I scared him. So anyway, <laughs> he's like, I'm not in the mood today. It's gonna be a weird mixture of low tide and high tide. It's high tide right now, I, I can tell. Just by water. Yes, this is high tide. And there's some people attempting paddle boarding. It's actually a lot worse than earlier. Um, what do you call it? I forgot what it's called. High tide. No, it's high tide, but like, the water. I'm not. Huh? Yeah, what's the ocean? When I said earlier it was calmer, but now it's not. Oh. Okay, never mind. I, I have a word I'm trying to think of, and I can't think of the word. I should say it's not calm right now. That's what we're going to say. Anyway, we're going to walk. try to find some shells. All right, so we are back at our hotel. This is the entrance we take, but if you look straight ahead, I've never seen it this high. Like, cause we used to, if you go down there, the next hotel down between a couple private um, homes is Sunset Beach, and then after Sunset Beach is the Island Inn. And we used to walk this straight way, but if you can see it right now, like the water is all the way up to the steps. And so if you were to walk it, would definitely have to walk through water. I've never seen it like that. So it is an extremely high tide right now. So yeah, interesting. Because when we used to stay at the Island Inn, we would walk all the way down here to the West Wind Inn. And so anyway, we walked for an hour like we said we would. Um, not tons of shells. I got a couple whelks. I got a whole bunch of sea urchins again. There's tons of dead sea urchins on the beach. And so we're gonna go to our room drop off the shells. I'll clean them later. Excuse me while I go. <coughs> oh man. There must be something dead right here. I'm gonna walk back over here to see if they're see if the turtle's still there. Oh, I did scare him. Tortoise. Sorry. I did scare him earlier. No, don't see. It's probably just like, it's time for my nap, my nightly nap. All right, no turtle right now. All right, going back to our room, drop off the stuff, and gonna go get some food. We pretty much ate almost everything that we bought. Yeah, so, impressive. So it was pretty impressive. So there's a couple things left over I might try to pack. I haven't, it just depends. Just, well, of course, but I, I, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna try to pack, pack, no, I'm not packing the shrimp. You were gonna eat that shrimp tonight. Shrimp sounds good until you walk the beach and see tons of dead fish and then all of a sudden you don't feel like shrimp anymore. So <laughs> anyway. Here's our room, 201. All right, we are here at Dock Forest. They have a really nice outdoor seating area and it is like 70 degrees, perfect weather for the outdoors. And I actually really like it because they do not have any music playing. So I can hear myself think I like that. 
I guess if it gets cold at night, we got some outdoor heaters going on. <laughs> yep. I got the tuna appetizer and Robert got the clam chowder. I've had, I have this every time. Their tuna appetizer is the best. Robert gets the clam chowder. We've ate here a half a dozen times. Dog bowl. This is our definite must go to every time we come here. I got the calamari salad and Robert got Yucatan shrimp. Is it spicy? Yes. Spicy. Spicy pillin' eat shrimp and calamari salad. I am now obsessed with key lime pie, so thank you, husband, for getting me obsessed with key lime pie. So we are now trying, uh, pretty much any time it's offered on the menu, I'm going to start getting it because I love key lime pie. All right, we just got in the car. Uh, low tide's not for another hour, so we are going to drive to Tween Resort, or is it Tween's Tween, Resort? Tween Waters. Tween Waters Resort. Robert read online that they have a really good Christmas display. And even though it's January 2nd, they haven't taken it down yet. So um, Tween's Re River Resort is in between. River. Tween's what? Tween Waters. Tween's Water Resort is in between Sanibel and Captiva. And so we're going to drive towards Captiva. Um, we've thought about staying there before. We just haven't yet. We might next trip just because um, as much as I like Westwood Inn, I need a change. And so anyway, we are heading there now. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> this is low tide. We, this is where we want to be, uh, but the water is too high. And what's that light out there? There's a light out there now. Oh my gosh. There's a boat right there? It says it's like a two and a half foot difference, but there's more than two. I don't know two and a half foot. You know what I mean? Anyway, technically it's 20 more minutes till the ultimate low tide part. And that light just went out and then it just came back on. So we're going to just hang out here for 20 minutes to see if it really does go out anymore. Um, so this is not a Shelly video. This is a watching the waves at night. And these are definitely... Is that a boat out there? These are low tide waves. Okay, do you see that light out there? Yeah. It's, you think it's a boat or a buoy? It's freaking me out. So anyway, it's not the lighthouse. These are, a, it's not a lighthouse. These are the highest waves we have seen so far. Like this afternoon, it was pretty calm. Now these waves, it's gone. No, it's back. Wait, show me light. Yeah, it's not a lot. It's a buoy. It's a buoy? All right, all right. Okay, it's a buoy. So we, it's a buoy, a buoy, buoy, buoy. What's that right there? Um, so basically, what's gonna happen is we're gonna end up waking up early. I was, I wasn't gonna wake up early, <laughs> um, but I changed my mind because with this water being so rough tonight. I'm hoping tomorrow is really good. The high tide's still gonna come in tonight, like at 3 a.m. Yep. So I think we're gonna get up at six and it'll be dark when we walk the beach, but I got this awesome headlamp. I just, I have hopes. We're still gonna hang out for another 20 minutes. So it's just, what time is it? Yeah, it's 20 minutes, it's 9.23 is the look. I know it's coming back up. All right, we might just we might just get, give up for now. <laughs> We're gonna give up. We're gonna throw in the towel. I did get a sea urchin. This is the extent. Sea urchin, a couple fighting conks, and a foot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the room, clean the shells I got from earlier with my headlamp because there's no light in the cleaning shack. And our flight don't leave till 12. 
I like to be early. We need to leave here by nine because we got to return our rental car and we are flying out of Fort Myers. So, yep, I'm definitely getting out. I could sleep on the plane because with it being this rough, I think tomorrow might be really good. I hope. We'll see. All right, we just um, are at their shell cleaning hut and we're getting ready to leave. Look at that. Just hanging out at this light pole. I have my headlamp. Oh, did you see his tongue flicker? He's not an alligator. So these are all the sea urchins we got today. And then these are all the other shells. Well, tonight and this afternoon. No, I don't think it's an iguana. I think it's just a lizard. It's a cute lizard, but it's just a lizard, so. This is the shell cleaning station. Hopefully we'll have to use it in the morning, but and then, um, hopefully we'll find some good stuff in the morning. We'll see. We'll see. But I just wanted to show you that lizard because he's cute.